It is 5 p.m. on August 30th, 2023. Declan Cheeseburger reporting. Today, I am going to successfully ride a bike for the first time. I need to get a feel for the weight. For the longest time, I've had two major personality issues oh, and only two oh, personality issues. One is I don't know how to ride a bike and two is I fucking hate the oh. 80s. <laughs> I never learned how to ride a bike because it was never really the time and I can kind of walk anywhere I want to, so I just do that. A few times when I was younger, I tried, but I don't think I ever really gave it my all. And I never this. let go of that fear. Let go of all fear. By the way, I don't really like to do that. Letting go of things is overrated, in my opinion, and I like the things that I hold on to, okay? Who's well, gonna carry the It's bike? complicated, I guess. There was a moment going down the hill where I stopped thinking about falling. I wasn't thinking, oh, if I hit that tree, so what? Because Doesn't I wasn't matter. thinking. Who's I expected it to be. Or oh, if I hit that, that tree, tree, I hit that tree. Too that fucking tree. bad. But instead, I was just thinking about nothing. And it wasn't really as triumphant as I thought it was going to be, but maybe that's fine because it felt good. What I know is that at a certain point going down that hill, I felt good because I stopped worrying about failing, not falling, no, no, no failing this time. I knew I was going to fail, so I stopped thinking about oh. it. And at those moments, I just oh. thought, move forward. Oh, and I did, doing it. awkwardly, oh, slowly, he's doing it. but I did. I started to feel like Sisyphus walking the bike back up the hill oh, after every failed good. ride down. That was cool. But I realized something. I like, and I, I love you, Camus, but I think I have a little bit of a different perspective about this. I've never really liked 80s right. movies because of how idyllic they yeah. are. They show people having the best life ever in the good old days that I never got. I didn't get yeah. to live an awesome teenage movie life. These kids are like doing fun. I don't really know. I don't really watch yeah. that many 80s movies because I don't like them. But they're doing cool stuff usually or like having fun times at prom. And sure, my prom was fun, but it was kind of whatever. And my life just like isn't a movie, man. And uh, my aunt says that, even differently, uh, that we're living in the bad timeline now and that before 9-11 was the good timeline and after 9-11 is the bad timeline because the yeah, timeline's passed over and that's why we have the Mandela yeah, effect the and years. the timeline's passed over so we're remembering a different timeline, which I don't necessarily agree with, but still it means I never got to live in the good timeline and that sucks. The but these movies, right man, now. they're just so anthemic. No and they make no me stopping. feel like I missed out on something. And we did miss out on a lot of things differently. But I'll say that the 80s movies always have people riding bikes through the suburbs. And I never rode a bike through the suburbs. Anyways, like Sisyphus pushing my bike up that hill, I've realized something. I can change things. If this ride down wasn't great, the next one will be better. Or it won't. But it will be different. I didn't miss out on the glory days because I refused to believe that I did. I was talking to my friend Nolan about the shit bars and clubs in Boston and how the music is always just songs between like 2000 and 2012. And it's getting so oh, depressing. Holy shit. He said, and I agree with him here, that in that environment, it okay. feels like we're past our prime because we're listening to songs from the yeah. good old days. That was and fire. it feels horrible to feel like you're past yeah. your prime because I don't want to be. And my prime was never that good. Okay, quick update. I just went two trees worth. I went from like that tree to like that tree, well, maybe like a tree and a half, but that's still pretty fire. And I say, fuck that mindset. I'm not past my prime. At 22 years old, I just rode a bike down a hill for the first time and I did a bad job, but guess what? I did it, and I think that's awesome. Oh, and my camera broke, but guess what we did? We recorded the rest on an iPhone, because today we can. So it looks like right now's my prime, and that feels pretty good. It feels pretty, pretty, pretty good. You're biking. You're biking. You're biking. Holy shit. You biked. You biked. Does that count? Yeah, you biked. You're peddling. Yeah, brother. Wow. Are we done now or do I keep it to do it?
Damn. I pedaled like a couple times. Yeah, you did that. You fucking actually biked. <laughs> Fridays with Dagley Cheeseburger. <laughs> Sundays. The Lord's Day. Should I do it again? If or? you want, you can try it. I'm going to try it one more time and see do what it. happens. Yeah, so Luis, it's like this. If I zoom in, it like moves a little and gets like whatever, but yeah. It's fucked up. It's like really bad. Just a small town girl Living in a lonely world She took the midnight train going anywhere Just a city boy Born and raised in South Detroit He took the midnight train going anywhere a singer in a smoking room The smell of oil and cheap perfume For a smell they can share the night It goes on and on and on and on Strangers waiting Up and down the boulevard Their shadows searching in the night Streetlights, people living just to find emotion, hiding somewhere in the night. <laughs> Oh yeah! <coughs> <coughs> Fuck yeah.